Hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to be a web server from your home for cheap. Actually, this will work with any version of Raspberry Pi. In this video, I'll be using Raspberry Pi Zero without Wi Fi version. And secondly, you're going to need a micro SD card, micro SD to SD adapter, USB to Ethernet adapter, and USB to micro USB adapter. Don't worry, I'll link everything down below. So, first of all, you just need to insert your SD card to your computer. Okay, let's start by uh, formatting your SD card. So let's go to this utility if you're on Mac and choose your SD card. Let's name it something such as Pi Zero and let's erase it. Just let it erase. It'll be done in a second. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Diet Pi image. So let's go to dietpi.com and download the specific image for raspberry pi so as usual i'll link everything down below uh while this is downloading let's go to uh an image writer software so i'll be i'll be using uh this software called etcher i'll link it down below uh, let's download this thing so while this is downloading let's open up the uh, diet pi and uncompress it so that we can get uh, the image out of it. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's open up this thing and as you can see, that's the image. So let's put this aside and uh, we're gonna go to um, the Belencher, Belenar Etcher. And we're gonna install it and we're gonna run it so that we can write an image onto the SD card. So I've installed this thing. So let's open up Etcher and let's uh, drag in our uh, Diet Pi image into this this uh, Etcher thing. And as you can see, the SD card has been detected and uh, let's uh, flash this thing so just key in your admin password so that will do so just let it write oh that's fast um it's done so we, we're done uh, writing image onto the sd card let's remove it plug it into your raspberry pi and power it up and connect it to the ethernet because we're using a Raspberry Pi that's without Wi-Fi, so Ethernet port is the only way to connect to the internet. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to termius.com. So this is a pretty good SSH uh, platform that we can use on Mac. So actually why I'm using Termius is because I don't wanna uh, plug in a display to my Raspberry Pi. So this is a pretty good platform to actually control the Raspberry Pi. So right now we just key in some relevant names such as Pi Zero Web uh, Server, and for the address uh, text box, we're gonna get the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna do it this way, which I'm gonna go to my router settings. I'm gonna log in my uh, router settings. to uh, retrieve the uh, LAN connected device. There we go. Uh, mine is uh, 0.165. So I'm gonna get this address and quickly uh, put it into Thermius, you know? So that would be our address for the Pi Zero. So next thing is um, save it, yeah. So the default username for this device, or rather the uh, image, will be root. Just press confirm, and just press yes for this. And the password for the root user will be diet pi. And press on confirm. So there we go. We are successfully into the pi zero. As you can see, the IP address on top of there would be 192.168.0.0.165 that would be our uh, wired connection to the Pi Zero so 
for this uh, first run setup, we just press OK for this one. And just OK for this licensing thing. Um, the next thing coming up would be the global password. Just cancel for this one. So we'll just use DietPy for password and this too. Just use root and DietPy for password. Uh, we'll just cancel this for now. And voila, we are into the um, UI that the DietPy has uh, configured for us. So we're just going to go into the software optimize. So here we'll get tons of software that you can, uh, or presets that you can, uh, you know, install without running command lines. So this is the best part about DietPy. So right now we're going to choose Apache 2 with MariaDB and uh, press OK. Um, OK for this one. And we'll just go down to SSH server. I will choose open SSH. As for the uh, file server, we'll choose Pro FTP. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll press, uh, let's go down to install and press OK. Okay, we'll just let this run for about 30 minutes and I'll speed up this uh, footage. All right, this is done. Uh, just press OK for this one. And just let things run and press OK for the, the rest. Okay, at this point you are done of the installation and press OK to reboot the Pi Zero. So now the Pi Zero is rebooting so that uh, we just reconnect the Pi Zero and key in the password as the first one, uh, which is Diet Pi for the root user. And uh, we'll confirm that and uh, we're in. Well, to check if your Apache 2 is running, you just key in your IP address and uh, if this shows up, you are basically good to go. Well, the next thing to do is by downloading uh, FileZilla so that we can access our files in the Diet Pi or rather the Pi Zero. So, so FileZilla is a pretty good uh, uh, software or platform to access FTP service. So right now, just key in your IP address and insert uh, SFTP in the front, following by colon and backslashes. As for the username is root and password is dietpy. And port will just leave it blank and click on quick connect. So at this point, just uh, we are into the root directory. Uh, in order to get to the web server files uh, or rather folders, we click on the slash to get back to the main directory and scroll down to um, VAR. Yeah, this one and W triple W. So this part is the files that we can access. Uh, our website. So here I have an example called update page and I will uh, paste my entire folder into the uh, directory. So just copy everything or any of the f uh, website files, just put it in there. So we we'll try to access this uh, files later on in by using the IP address following by the, the directory name. So just go to any browser and uh, key in the directory name by just entering slash and the directory name. Like for example, my update page. If the page will load up, you're basically done. Uh, your web server is basically working right now. And it will only work in your local network connection. So if you are outside the network connection, you would probably not be able to access to this web server. So I've prepared a video if you are interested to uh, make your web server to be accessed outside the local connection or rather local network. You can view 
the next video I'll, I'll, I'll put a link down below or just click on the the next tutorial